and I will be in verse 4. The scripture says in Deuteronomy 6, 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your might. I love this scripture. Jesus echoes it in the New Testament. And the scripture says, You shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart and your soul and your might. We should not look at this as something that's unattainable, but as something that's experiential. We really can love the Lord our God with everything that we are. But what does it take? It takes a denying of fleshly desires and a pursuit of God. It takes a fleeing youthful lust and pursuing righteousness and pursuing our God. And the next verse says, These words which I am commanding you today shall be on your heart. So whatever the Lord teaches us, it, we're to keep it in our heart. We're to meditate upon it. David says it like this. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, my, my Lord, my rock, and my redeemer. You shall teach them, verse 7, diligently to your sons and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. So the scripture tells us that we should be talking about the word of God at all times. We should encourage each other with the word of God. We should correct each other with the word of God. We should find all of our satisfaction and joy from the words of life. For these are Jesus' words to us. They're powerful. They'll quicken us to live according to his ways and to enjoy and to love our God.